This is question 16.4, number one. It's the first of the Green's theorem problems, and I've written Green's theorem here in the upper right-hand corner. Basically, the provided question is a right-hand side of Green's theorem, and we could uh, solve this one directly. The problem is the region, uh, uh, the border of the region would be very difficult to express as a parametric function. We could do it but it would be difficult. So this one's really a left side of Green's theorem problem, which means we want to turn this from this form into this form. So to do that, we have to identify the functions p and q. Uh, p is 2y and q is 3x. And what Green's theorem tells us is the difference between these partials taken over the area is the same thing as the, the sum of the functions basically is a dot product. In essence, this is just a line integral. And one way to do that is to step it up to use these partial derivatives and do it as an area integral. So that's what we're going to do here, mostly because the closed curve is really difficult to express when it's a rectangle. The same will be true of triangles. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, the partial of p with respect to y is equal to 2, and the partial of q with respect to x is equal to 3. And the difference between those is 1, and we just want to integrate that over the area. The area is easy because it's just x and y, both between 0 and 1. So the limits are interchangeable, 0 to 1. I just want 1 dx dy, and of course, that's equal to 1. So we evaluate this integral over this closed curve by integrating this uh, over the area. And that's Green's theorem. Uh, it is possible to integrate this one in the form it comes in, but the uh, parametric curve is really difficult. It comes in four pieces, and it involves converting each one of these into the parametric form, and it gives you the same answer.